Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome to Project Zomboid and the first video for Early Access version 33 which just came out, uh, must have been within the last hour or so. First thing you'll notice is down in the bottom right where you've got your uh, solo and online options. You now have a load option, this is where you'll load any of your previous save files. Once you click on solo here, you got a new screen for starting a new game. Of course, you got your tutorial at the very top. And then down below, we've got uh, different scenarios. So we got the initial infection, which starts on July 8th of 93. This is meant to be a training scenario for new survivors. It is non-canon, so there is a small horde recently infected zombies with reduced senses and limited migration. So that's like, uh, I guess, day one. Then we have the first week, how it begins. Moderate horde and unlooted homes, water and electricity available for a limited period. Then we've got six months later, uh, how it ends. Large horde ransacked homes and overgrown game world, water and electricity shut off. And then survival, which is the hardcore mode. The hardcore experience. July 9th, 93. Uh, so it is the same as the first week, just on hardcore settings, I guess. High, a uh, huge horde, high stakes and death around every turn. How long can you survive? And we've got our custom sandbox options down here to uh, start a sandbox game and then all the challenges are listed on this main page as well so everything is looks to be super accessible uh, but let's go ahead and start a uh, I think we'll just start a new game in each of these settings just kind of see what the world looks like each time around so we're gonna start off with the initial infection oh I guess you can set the uh, starting conditions as easy normal or hardcore I thought those were just for the different scenarios, but you can set them for each one. Uh, so let's just go on normal. Just before we jump in, there should be a new herbalist trait as well. So let's see if we can find that. I think I saw that. There we go. Herbalist. Can find medicinal herbs and craft medicines and poultices from them. Okay, let's uh, pick that. Uh, I don't know what we're going to go with here. I'll just load up something quickly so we can jump in right away. All right, so this is the initial infection start it looks pretty pretty much the same as what you would uh, expect when starting a new zomboid game uh, we should be able to move furniture around although i would think we would need like a crowbar or some sort of tool oh here's a radio we should have radio broadcast now too let's pick up this radio this value tech radio so we should be able to turn on tvs and radios oh and you can hear some of the new sounds there that's new F mod system. Uh, it's called F mod sound system. Anyway, I'll have a description in the notes or in the uh, comments. All right, let's see if we can find a place with a TV. We'll try this TV and radio out. All right, here's a TV. And uh, look at this. The doors are open. It looks like people were in the midst of running out. So that's cool. There's a crowbar. Okay, let's see if we can move furniture with this. Oh, we got a bzzzt from the TV there. That's cool. Bzzzt. Uh, device options. Right, let's turn the volume up. Uh, let's change the channel here. We got a few different channels. We got Pause TV, Turbo, WBLN News, Triple N, and Life and Living TV. Power source is nearby. It's currently on, so if we turn it off... It goes dark, there's even a bit of light cast off of the, the front of that, that's pretty cool. Let's turn that back on. There's a nice glow. Alright, let's tune to Turbo TV. Nothing. Let's tune to WBLN. Nothing. Try this, Triple N. Nothing. Let's try this. Life and Living TV. Alright, well, we're not getting anything from here. Let's try our radio. Let's turn this off. Put our radio there. Uh, okay, let's quit primary. Maybe we need to put a battery in here. Oh, there we go. Got the uh, radio window. So we're currently tuned into LBMW Kentucky Radio. Frequency of 93.2 megahertz, the range of 88 to 108 megahertz, not a two-way radio, 
It's got a battery in there. Okay, so we can remove the battery. We can put it, can we do is draw, drag it in there? Nice, we just drag it in. Shows us the battery strength, that's cool. Uh, the volume's turned all the way up. We can even wear headphones. That's really cool. All right, let's, uh, can we not tune into any of this stuff? How do we work this? Not getting any, oh, I have to turn it on. There we go. Tune in. I know, I'm not hearing anything. Let's try something else. Might just not be any broadcast right now. Okay, not hearing anything there. Let's see if we can move some furniture. Move curtains, turn on. Oh, let's turn that off. There we go. Well, I don't know. Maybe we... I'm not sure how you're supposed to move furniture. I thought it would be with like a crowbar. Okay, let's take a look at a couple other buildings to see what how they start off. Got a zombie body. We got some bleach. Oh, some bleach is laying out here. Looks like this individual drank some bleach to kill himself. So that's kind of a cool little starting off scenario for you to run into. You can hear the thumping. It's making quite a bit more noise with the new sound effects. Let's see even how it sounds like hitting them. Yeah, it de definitely sounds... Sounds a bit louder. I may just have my uh, uh, my volume turned up. Okay, so we found some earbuds. We could let's try and throw these earbuds onto the radio, and then we'll load up another game. So we equip that. Drag headphones there. Okay, so let's throw those in there. So we now have a pair of headphones equipped on our radio. Turn it on. Will that let us hear any better? nothing okay well that's pretty cool that is the uh, initial infection if you guys want to see like a, a weekend challenge of any of these starting scenarios just let me know well, we can do that on the weekend uh, but let's hop back out and we'll start up a new game in the one week after see how things uh, look in there so we'll go with the first week on normal load that up in West Point all right, so here is the startup for the first week after the infection. We never took a look at uh, our herbalist trait. Uh, I don't think it actually gives us a skill for it. I think it just lets us it just lets us uh, identify uh, different plants. So maybe we'll try and hit up some woods and check that out. We got a premium technologies radio here. Okay, let's try this out. See how much different it is from uh, the vault tech one. Alright, nothing else of interest in here. Let's uh, turn this on. Quit primary. Turn it on. So this is, still has the same frequency range as the last one. Tune in. Oh, here we go. Freedom and my gun constitutional. I thought it was going to be actual talking. My, It's my, the boys at the, the West Point range hunting. God bless. It's little snippets of information here. Good. You're two. It's day three of the Nox. Still no statement on contagion that. This is cool. The exclusion zone. So we're getting little bits and pieces of what's been going on here. A huge area of the military has moved from the primary deployment of... Exclusion zone curve of the Ohio and the small towns of Muldra and West. Oh, well, they're talking about us. I've been told we'll be LBMW understands. Something will be held, something on, something brewing, last four with the communications blackout. Oh, this is cool. This is quite a bit of information. Until then, the only advice remains... This Frank Hemingway, LB, there's that LBMW again. Governor Cal Fairweather, he broke in. He said he'd 
clean. You said the our fields and our forests would be all right. So it sounds like the government is uh, trying to get stuff under control. Maybe we just get, didn't get any uh, radio transmissions on the the initial stages of the infection because everything was just so crazy. All right, let's hop out here. All right, let's see if we can find a TV. It looks very similar to the initial infection start. Uh, we should have random condition on weapons too, so we should keep an eye out on that for that. Supposedly, anyway. We got a TV on here. Open doors. We got a zombie in the shower. All right, let's check this TV out. Uh, let's tune in to the news. No, just static. All right, let's see if we can get any text on any of these channels. Anything? I don't think so. Alright, check the next one. Mm, nothing really coming in there. There we go. Welcome back to the Cook Show, folks. So we still have a cooking show on. Brought to you by Kitten Knives Free American Cookware. Or Fine American Cookware. Today is the day for a nourishing chicken and noodle soup. Oh, can we actually learn cooking recipes off of this? Nourishing, mood lifting, the smell of home, you know? To start, you need some cooked chicken. I wonder if this is actually teaching us. Let's go over to our recipe tab here. Let's look up chicken. All right, we don't know chicken noodle soup. Uh, bell pepper, onion, potato. Don't matter if anything gets stale. Soup fixes everything. Don't forget the dry ramen noodles. Twist of pepper. Bam, chicken noodle soup. All right, so, so since we listened to that, I just wonder if... That'd be so cool if it actually taught us a recipe. Pot of noodle soup. Yeah, they don't have a chicken noodle soup there. Uh, looks like the governor's talking now. Uh, we spent our time testing the round, land around us, make sure the military testing 30 long years ago to protect our country was as safe as we always thought it was. You know what? Kentucky's a safe place uh, to live as it is beautiful. Vote for Carl Fairweather. Vote for progress. In the middle of an election cycle. That's an endorsed message by the Republican Party. Very cool. Alright, let's turn that off. So there's a little bit of a taste of the radio and TV stuff, guys. Let's load up uh, the next scenario and see what that's about. Okay, so now we'll take a look at six months later. I assume this will be similar to the eight months later that we had in the previous builds. So we should be without power and water now. Yeah, no power. There'll be a couple draws in uh, the sink. We've got a, a window that's been covered up by a bed sheet. That's cool. So some signs, it looks like this one's been partially boarded up. Some signs of people trying to survive. All right, let's see if we can find another radio. And we'll see what uh, the transmissions are like six months after. Might not be able to find one in this house though. Might even need to grab, oh, there we go. Value tech radio. All right, let's try this. They're gonna break in here pretty soon too. They are on point today. All right, so we'll turn on this radio. All right, we're down to three radio stations now. Only LBMW, uh, Knox Talk, and NNR. I think they can hear us. My name is Pastor James Hartnell. I am what uh, was once a place for radio broadcast. It's now a mausoleum, a walking mausoleum. Man, they are just pounding away at our house. I have been bitten, I am not long for this world. I came here uh, to this room to pray for you, for your souls. Oh, oh my god, they can hear it. They can hear the radio. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Okay, so uh, there you go, guys. You're, you're gonna wanna be careful when turning on a radio. Let that guy get eaten up. And, uh, oh boy. The screams. The screams are, are so different. Everything sounds so different. All right, let's take a look. Oh my God, look at them just coming here. Let's take a look at the last scenario, guys. And this is survival mode on hardcore. Starting in a relatively clean home. Let's see if there's any signs of previous attempts at survival here. All the doors are closed. We got some barricading on that window. Mind you, this is essentially just one week after the infection starts. 
And our golf club that we just found here is down to about 50% condition. So this is an example of the varying conditions that you can find weapons and items in. Looks like all the kitchen related items are still 100%. Oh, this spoon is uh, about 75% condition. Let's see if we can find another radio, guys. Six months later, we heard another survivor saying how uh, he had been bitten. All right, let's just run to the next house. Oh, there, we can actually see that there's a radio on in here. See y'all, welcome to... Oh, what can I for? So there's a TV on in there, that's cool. And that's drawing the zombies towards that house. That's really cool. All right, let's try and find somewhere else with the TV so we can actually listen to something for a little bit. So you can actually tell that there are radios and TVs on as you pass by buildings. And I assume the longer you survive, the more those active TVs and radios will draw more zombies towards those homes. I think there's there a TV in there. Might be on that wall. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's turn this on. Oh, here we go. I'm here in camp of displaced families and they're angry. We just want to go home, that's all. This is some sort of news report. Why can't we talk to them? What's the worst thing they could do? Well, they could be zombies. Cut off the phone lines. So they want us to panic. Just let me talk to my son. So if we turn down the volume, it probably won't attract as many people. Military officials have told us to expect a full statement this afternoon. Until then, this is Christy Cormick from Triple N on the Knox event line. Okay, let's go to w WBLN. Let's see if anything is on this channel. Uh, no, they're gonna break in here. Alright, well that's cool. We'll leave that TV on. But anyway guys, that's a, a brief look at build 33. Look at this house. It's, it's actually been burnt out. So these are just a few of the examples of some of the randomness that you'll be able to find now when you start new games makes the world feel like it's a little bit more lived in. We've got new sound effects. It sounds a little bit different. Uh, you can notice it more so when you're inside and you hear the echo and stuff. But yeah guys, leave me some comments below. What is uh, the thing that you're most looking forward to? We weren't able to take a look at the herbalism or the furniture moving, but we'll see that stuff soon enough. Uh, if not in our season five playthrough, uh, we, can, we can throw together some build 33 weekend episodes just to take a look at some of the new features got another tv on or radio on in there oh it's all very cool stuff guys so that'll do it for this uh video hopefully it's not too long i'm gonna try to edit it down to a reasonable amount hit that like button if you enjoyed it would like to see more build 33 videos and until next time i'll talk to you all later